Okay, Jason, how long have you been doing music for? Uh, I first got a guitar when I was about nine years old. Mm -hmm. And mum and dad got me a guitar for Christmas and uh, sort of mucked around for a few years. And uh, seriously, since I was about 14, I kind of knew that I wanted a career in music. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is, do you have any brothers and sisters? Uh, I'm an only child. Only child? Yep, so, um, awesome. Uh, and my mum and dad aren't uh, musically um, inclined, so it's kind of uh, on my own. And, uh, that, uh, that Did way. you uh, do any music studies, music school, anything like that? Uh, I moved to Hamilton in 95. Uh, uh, went to the Waikato Polytech mm -hmm. and did the commercial music course there. Uh, hooked up with a few guys and uh, went from there. Is there any particular style of music that you prefer playing? Uh, I like to listen to a broad range of music. Um, mainly I play sort of a acoustic sort of uh, easy listening sort of stuff I guess. It's quite hard to to put your music into a a genre or, or a mm -hmm. box, so, but I mean I listen to a lot of musicians like um, obviously Ben Harper and, and Jeff Buckley to the Al Green, um, Sting or, yeah, so awesome. it's quite a, a broad range. Mm -hmm. Now I hear you're doing a big OE to London, uh, are you pursuing a music career or anything like that over there? Uh, yes, I've, um, I've made a few contacts um, over the last sort of 18 months, I've been living in Australia and um, in the Maldives, and uh, met a few people, um, and now I'm off to London to um, follow up those contacts, and mm -hmm. um, hopefully something good will come out of it. Excellent. Yeah. Do you have a, a message or anything you'd like to say to the up-and-coming rangatahi or New Zealand? Yes. Um, if you're going to choose a career in music, it's uh, it's not an easy easy one, but if you uh, manage to to uh, be successful, it's very um, it's, it's very uh, rewarding. Um, uh, it's not like a job where you can go into an office and hand in your CV mm -hmm. and they go, you know, we'll call you on Monday. Um, uh, you know, if you succeed in this business, then it's, it comes from a lot of lot of hard work, a lot of mahi. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, if you're going to do it, it's uh, it's pretty cool. <laughs> Jason, like thank you for coming in today. I hope everything goes well for you in the future. No doubt it will. And I wish you all the best. Cheers. Thank you very much, Jibbert. Here's a song about my old road called Kumi Road. The sound of singing from the heavens Mixed with light and shade Welcome back, I'm here with Ashley. I'm going to ask Ashley a few questions and then he's going to take us through some of the songs that he's, he's wrote for us today. Cheers, how's it going Ashley? Not too bad, Lance, how are you? Good. Right. Always do that kind of handshake. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, sorry. <laughs> Can I tell you a little secret? Someone once told to me If 
if you've got one, try and keep it close at hand and always keep it that way. Learn this lesson, try not to forget it. Don't ever let it slip away. Cause once it's gone, it's gone forever. And the day, always keep it that way. And if ever by chance you get to hold one that a friend gave you because of love and trust, well, you know you must always keep it that way. Tell you a little secret that a friend once told to me. If you've got one, try and keep it close at hand and always keep it that way. Now, Ashley, you were brought up in England, did it? Yep. Was your uh, family uh, music orientated? Or? Um, nah, nah, no one in my family. Oh, not really. My father plays like harmonica, but that's about Excellent. it. Yeah, yeah. But um, um, I had an uncle, I think, who might have played, and I inherited his guitar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but a friend of mine broke that at some stage. But, yeah. <laughs> and uh, at what stage in your life did you uh, come to New Zealand? Um, I was 17, yeah, and we all came over as a family, and pretty much as soon as I moved, I moved to, they moved to Auckland and I moved to Hamilton to start my music course, mm -hmm. which is uh, it's the same course that Jason did. Uh, Jason had a process of writing music where he, he wrote about life, is that the same thing about, with you as well? Yeah, um, I tend to write from, uh, yeah, from a, yeah, like, like Jason says, like external things as mm -hmm. well, not just necessarily your own experiences, but things you can see happening. And I, I seem to be influenced a lot by things kind of happening in the world as well, not mm -hmm. just necessarily, not even like personal issues or other people's personal issues. It can be more mm -hmm. like world consciousness or, you know, it's kind of a hippie thing to say, but yeah. Is it hard to write music? Yeah, I, th I think it's that whole thing like my uncle told me once about how if you Right, yeah, if, like if you have your heart broken, you're gonna write better music, and it's kind of true, you know, that yep, thing of, right. of having like some soul to your music kind of thing. You've, mm -hmm. got, you've got to draw from somewhere, you mm -hmm. know. So, I think, yeah, anything that happens to your music is, is, a, is an aid for that. You may, yeah, it kind of can actually help you through the process of dealing with things, mm -hmm. yeah. And it doesn't have to be writing a song that's related to that subject, mm -hmm. it can be actually just playing music as a release in itself. Yeah. Especially if it's a music you feel passionate about. Mm -hmm. mm. I'd like to thank you for coming in today. Awesome. I hope everything goes well for you. Yeah, all the best. Cheers. Looks great. Thanks very much. Thank you. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> it's getting way advanced. <laughs>